The thing is that most people don't know the truth of who they really are. Hearing this, you might say, but Ryan, I know who I am, and you have a name and a surname. Let's use me, case in point. Ryan Tayak. That's not who I am. Those are just two words, a first name and a surname. Then you might be thinking, well, I'm this physical body. No, you're not. When you have flu or some sort of sickness, you don't say chest sick. You say, I am sick. So who is the I am? If you're not your name, and these are just labels which were given to you at birth, and you're not ultimately the physical body, then who or what are you? And this is one of the fundamental issues that challenges most people and our society at large. We walk around thinking, I am Ryan Tayak. I am 32 years old. I'm a brother, I'm a husband, I'm a son, I'm a coach. These are none of the things that you ultimately are. These are just concepts after concepts after concepts, which you are identified as. But if you took all of these away, what would be left? I am. I am is a languaging and a concession to try and describe pure Awareness. You are pure awareness. You are a spiritual being. You are infinite in this moment, but you reduce yourself by believing in the psychological idea of who you think you are. And this is liberation. When you begin to understand that you are not all of the labels, that you are not your name, you are not your age, you are not even your physical body. You certainly have a body. And it allows you to experience life and express yourself. But what you are is far, far greater. And this is what we need to inquire. This is what we need to try and understand. Because when you know the truth of what you are, your life starts to shift in incredibly powerful ways. But because you're so caught up in your mind's idea, a thought about who you are, it creates challenges. My life, my money, my job. Who is this my that you talk about? If you look closely, you'll see that you yourself, me, Ryan Tayak, is just a psychological concept, an image I have of myself in my mind. But if I'm really willing to go beyond the mind, there is pure awareness this awareness is the awareness that I am, and it is the awareness that you are.